Hey guys, so I was fishing here with Vic the Killer and I got a fishing rod from fishing. It's the first fishing rod I got in 15k fishes. And <laughs> that's a uh, tough drop rate. It's called Wish Fisher and uh, how is it? How much is it on the marketplace? Wish. Oh, around 15k. Oh, that's pretty nice. I uh, I won't say no to that. Let's put it on, I don't know, 14,700. Uh, yes. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's the first fishing rod I ever got from fishing and I was quite amazed. I uh, I think I got it from fishing. Got nowhere else to get it from. Anyway, that, that was interesting. Another cool thing I got is uh, this tome, Writings of Wonder. Uh, I got it in the Chaos Chest and I'm pretty happy. It gives two troves of wonders, but the thing I am I was most, most excited for is that it gave me 100 mastery points. And I think I'll go... Um, Actually no, I'll finish fishing. You'll see a clip with uh, me finishing fishing in a moment. And after after that I'll go uh, max my writings, writings of wonder and see if I get anything good from those shoves of wonder. Finally, I'll get to see how the wings look on me. I'm finally finishing the fishing badge. Oh my god, it was so painful. But hopefully it'll be worth it. I mean, I've seen the wings, but uh, not on me, so... Anytime now, anytime now, we lost the double bonus. <gasps> what? Oh yeah! <laughs> 15 out of 15,000, and it will stay like that for a long time, I believe. Also, we got a uh, mastery level, as I got 100 mastery points, and also I got uh, 750 cubits. Let's check the wings out. Let's go to badge, aquabatic islands. Okay, let's do a pose. Oh, they're interesting to say the least. <laughs> I'll have to get used to them. But I'll definitely fly. I'll definitely be using them because they're super rare. In my opinion, at least, I haven't seen many. They look awesome. Let's do something. Let's update our life counter. As we have this mastery level counter right above the throne, let's put it on 272 as that's our current mastery. Alright, so I said I'll go and uh, full, uh, fill this uh, Writings of Wonder and uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm pretty close of filling my tome and I gotta say I'm pretty happy I got it. As now I don't have to pay any flux in order to gamble at these shows of wonder. I think I'm gonna feel it right now. Yeah, there it is. Two shots of wonder on the floor. Let's get out. But the bad thing and the really horrible thing actually is that I'll be getting uh, two shots of wonder weekly. Which is... Uh... But anyway, two shots of wonder can't say no to that, so let's open them. By the way, my first ever shots of wonder opened ever. Awesome! 14 fragments of wonder. How much are they worth? I'm wondering. Hmm. Don't hide collected and uh, switch to any. Fragment of wonder. Okay, so it's 450 flux per each fragment. So this means I got 6.3k. I'll keep fragments of wonder in. So. Hmm. No, no, I'll just sell them because I won't gather enough because I'm not usually opening uh, Trolls of Wonder. I was thinking of uh, keeping them and stacking them until I, uh, I'm i able to unlock something, but uh, nope. Actually, I'm cu really curious about the prices, so I'll try and find a golden ship and see how much they uh, ask for a vial or something. See if it's worth it to sell them or just keep them. Okay, so someone invited me to a Trove of Wonder. Oh, they're pretty expensive. Yes, they are. No, it's totally not worth it to keep them. I could rather just buy the flasks with... Um, flux. <laughs> or even buy the fragments. Because I think the... Uh, yeah, I can definitely find them on the marketplace. Why is this emblem so bloody expensive? Look at it. Decoy emblem. Isn't this the emblem you get through... No, never mind. <laughs> totally forget that. Anyway, so I'll continue... Leveling my other tomes now. Okay, so I played a little bit of PvP. 
as you can see here, uh, you can type stats slash stats and you'll see your PvP stats among other uh, things. You can see I've been playing for uh, 5000 seconds, that's roughly one minute, one hour and a half. And the way you're getting uh, the boxes, because that's why I'm recording right now, I just got a classic battle box, is um, if you got Patreon, you'll be getting boxes from uh, in at every 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, but you gotta have this battle factor. I only got one battle factor. It adds. Yeah, I'm just. I'm wondering why did I got only one box? Because I got one but battle factor, but I got my patron. And if I go to stats, it says two battle factor. Shouldn't I get two boxes? Anyway, but the thing is, if you got patron, you got them uh, in every 40 minutes, and uh, if you are a uh, non-patron, you get them at 18 minutes of uh, PvP time. The time is uh, recorded in uh, seconds, where is it? I lost my... Uh... Oh, there it is. See, uh, it's PvP seconds played and you can check how much you got till the next bo box. Uh, it's pretty rough though, you should have a counter or something. You should have a counter telling you how much time you gotta play until your uh, next box. But yeah, let's see what I got. You got a rare sniper's frost flake. What the hell is this? And it's green. It's horrible. Seven percent maximum health. Okay, that's good. Just place it there, I suppose. Oh, okay. it won't get displayed on me. Well, it it's tattered. Okay, so I I think this is the basic reward. I mean the one of the worst rewards you might uh, get because it's green. And yeah, my uh, impressions from PvP. Well, uh, if you manage to get a uh, match quickly and uh, not spend like 30 minutes like I did waiting in a queue for players to join, that was pretty annoying. And it wasn't a, an isolated incident, it happens quite often. Uh, PvP is super fun, I uh, highly recommend you to try it out. And to pick your own class, um, I can't suggest you classes. Well, Ice Age is kind of OP at the moment as it's it's able to freeze and insta kill if you get near it as long as it has its uh, ultimate on uh, ready to use right also love the lunar laser as it's super quick and it also is, deals quite amount of uh, damage and i'm using it mainly to capture flags and just <laughs> score points pretty much haven't tried the other classes though actually i played a little bit with my uh, how is it called? Candy Barbarian, but um, yeah, I got back to my Lunar Lancer because of the speed. Candy, the Candy Barbarian is quite slow. Would you look at this? Someone decorated our hub. It's festive now. And by the way, um, try getting inside the Christmas tree. There's a Penta Forge waiting for you inside. Yeah, you go through through there, right? Just go, just go inside. No, <laughs> no questions asked. But that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the challenge. I will see you on the next one.